Anybody remember this bad boy? We're playing Mario <laughs> Odyssey. <laughs> Tostarina Town. Tostarina sounds like something that Taco Bell is going to put on their menu as like a limited edition <laughs> Tostarinos? Item. Come try the new Tostarina. I live for Taco Bell's like limited edition, uh, limited edition items. Not all of them are good, but, uh, but I guess that's the point. You, Dude, you think they do that purposely? Of course. It's like if they can get uh, an item on the menu that just at least gets them some press. Like, say, like Burger King did that recently. They had those like macaroni and cheese Cheetos, which what? we tried and they weren't very good. Wait, really? We had them. Remember? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm remembering. Sorry. The, you know they sell those like at, at a, the store, at grocery yeah, like store. frozen version, which I imagine are even worse than the Burger King ones. Sorry, I gotta feel the vibration in my controller. I'm picking Got up it. good vibrations. I was, and that's oh. how I found this moon. You gotta rumble from the sandy floor. I gotta say I'm loving the colors in this uh, in this world. Dude, throughout this game, you're gonna be going, ah! Did you spill a drink? <laughs> I spilled Sprite. Oh no, no! <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was impeccable timing for a funny haha, -ha, though. Sprite is cleaned up, but I'm gonna take a sip before we continue. Tell us how it is. That's not just Sprite, though. That's Sprite Zero. So that might not be sticky on the carpet because it's got no sugar in it. Yeah, I'm one of those assholes that is like, oh, I'm eating better, so I'm going to do diets and hey, zeros, even though they're shitty asshole. for it. You're losing weight. Mario's getting his prostate stimulated. Did you know that 97% of Algeria's economy is from oil export? So I bet you didn't know that. I, I did not. Well, now you know. Thank and I you. only learned that from watching Geography Now, which is a YouTube channel everybody should check out. I, I really- you were telling me about it on the- on the ride to work. It's really cool, it's a YouTube channel this- this guy does where he just does videos, he does one video on every country, like A to Z. I think he just did- he's a, he's on J right now, so I think he just did Japan, but, uh, I, I've gone through like- I think I'm on like the seventh or eighth video, and I'm still in the A category, because there's a lot of countries that start with A, but he just does a video on every single country, and he talks about like the geography, its history, the culture. It's really cool. So uh, if you if you want to know more about the world, check out Geography Now. You can tell the guy that makes it puts like a ton of a uh, ton of passion and, and work into it. So definitely worth supporting. Number of sovereign states worldwide: 206. So he has to produce 206 high quality videos on uh, on countries. Wait, how far is he? Siri, what number country is Japan? Looks like Tokyo. Japan Whoops. is about 5,486 miles away as the crow flies. As the crow flies? As the crow flies? See, Siri's trying to get all colloquial with me. Don't <laughs> stop. That's as the crow flies at midnight. She's trying whatever. to be more human. She, she thinks like this will make me sound more human. <laughs> oh wow, she's just like me. I always say as the crow flies. As the crow flies. She didn't even answer my question. I said I said. The crow flies at midnight, Matt. Okay, It's so. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> That burn because some sprite. Right in. <laughs> I can hear it like went like, up my get nostrils up in, your, in, your, in your nasal cavity. Oh, uh, okay. Do you think? Do you think like? Do, uh, uh, do you think the Easter Island heads were modeled after Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> yeah. As I said, he's a part of some ancient alien like species. Oh well, he is Samoan, so apparently, uh, in, a, in the podcast, we we said he was Hawaiian and he's Samoan, <laughs> which makes sense because the Samoan people are like the most massive ripped people alive. Samoan. Like, have you ever seen Samoan people, dude? I th They're all like- I've Wayne never Rock seen Johnson. a Samoan person, Matt. Yeah, I've never seen a Mongolian person. Have, have you ever met a Mongolian person? I'm sure. Didn't he do a lot of- a lot of sex with things? The guy I who- I said, have you met a Mongolian- have you met Genghis Khan? I'm not- <laughs> No? But I'm pretty sure I've met someone that's Mongolian or tied to Mongolia in some way. Well, uh, Tied to Mongolia! <laughs> I'd like to get tied to Mongolia. I'm gonna go to the country and they're gonna tie me to the ground. <laughs> I'd love to go to Mongolia, though. It seems like a fucking awesome country. Mongolia sounds so goofy to me right now. I don't know why. The word Mongolia? Yeah. It's a funny sounding name. It sounds like a pasta. <laughs> <laughs> you want, uh, what do you want? You want, you want shells? You want rotini? Uh, let's, get, let's get Mongolia. <laughs> It Mongolia. sounds like a wavy, long pasta. It does! Mongolia! <laughs> Mongolia! Mongolia pasta. With some, uh, I, w I want some al dente Mongolia pasta. Poor favor. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Look, Matt, I'm D Dwayne. Yo, what's up? It's The Rock. I have my own YouTube channel now. Look at me, look at me killing it. Did Genghis Khan behead people taller than him? I, I mean, I don't want to... 
You don't, don't want to spread lies about the man. I know, I, I would hate to disrespect Genghis Khan. Um, let's see. It's on a list. 10 brutal facts about the merciless Genghis Khan. Really? He wasn't a very, he was not a nice guy. No, I, I wouldn't describe him as a nice guy. I remember in our Pokemon Snap uh, playthrough, I mentioned, I was like, he had a lot of sex, and you were like, I think, I think, I don't think he had a lot of sex, I think he <laughs> raped a lot of people. Oh, I was yeah. like, yep. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You know what those cactuses remind me of? What? In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, there's like a big gumball during the singing scene that they crack open and it's full of goo. No, that's Augustus Gloop. The big old greedy nigga. <laughs> yeah, sorry, go on. That's what that looks like. Man, no, no scene in any movie made me want candy more than that scene. I wish, I wish so badly I could go to that factory and just, uh, have a blast. It was satisfying to me to see them unwrap it and the and find the golden ticket when I was a kid. Like oh, when they God, found it, I was yes. like, yes! Just I, like, watching I them really... like unwrapping the chocolate bars? And so you remember when they put golden tickets in the Wonka bars? They when... don't make Wonka bars anymore. No, but like remember when they did the marketing for the new Johnny Depp movie and I got they re-released a whole bunch and they had golden tickets. Well, some of them had golden tickets. Yeah, I got one. I remember. I went to a gas station. I had my, ga uh, my dad take me to a gas station just because I really wanted a Wonka bar. Really? Because this is when the, the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie was coming out, and it had a golden ticket in it. It didn't mean anything. Matt's just got like the a... golden ticket. Matt's got the golden ticket. And my dad my dad said, run home, Matt. Don't let anybody take it. And then he, then he pushed you to give you a head start, but then you accidentally tripped over yourself and fell on your face and broke your teeth. And the golden ticket blew away and went down in a storm drain. God, man, I wish they still made uh, Wonka bars. I feel bad for everyone that's a little too young to remember those. Did you ever like those? I don't remember what they tasted they like. They were chocolate bars with uh, bits of crumbled up graham cracker mixed in with the chocolate. That's what a Wonka bar was. Yeah. Or at least the version that they sold. Man, those were fucking delicious. Dude, does Wonka still make candy? Wonka? What candy? Do, they make Laffy Taffy. <laughs> do they? Yeah, Wonka makes Laffy Taffy. Oh right? wow! Hold on. I feel like I feel like Wonka. I'm just sorry, my favorite out. Taffy is still Starburst. Wonka. I've never thought of uh, Starburst as Taffy. I have to believe it's a Taffy. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Seems like a Taffy. Uh, my favorite is Saltwater Taffy. You know, like the little type in the wax paper wrapping. Yeah. Hey Matt, okay. let's yeah. see if you've been paying attention, okay? Yeah. You gotta answer this, answer this whittle for us. I will us. answer this whittle. <laughs> Come on, answer this whittle, Matt. Uh, what does the feeding monster desire from this land? Ring, maracas. Yep, freeze. you said ring. Good job, Matt. It's because he's getting married. You got it right. Well, you don't, you don't want freezy treats at a wedding. Is that what it said? They say freezy yeah. treats. Dude, you know what I'm jealous of? What? Mario right now. Damn, dude, he's fucking killing it. That's a lot of gold. It's like the United States Treasury in 1924. <laughs> Got a moon. Okay, uh, Wonka Candy makes Laffy Taffy, Sweet Tarts, and Nerds. So they are still, uh, they make bottle caps too, but I have not seen those in many years. They make Gobstoppers. Uh, they make Runts. Runts. Remember, you know Runts? Yes. I love Runts. I like the banana Runts the best. We're about to go in the inverted pyramid. They, they, okay, I'm calling copyright right now. Why? I wrote a book in elementary school called The Underwater Pyramid. Was it upside down? No, but it was underwater, and this is under investigation. For what? 33,000. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Too predictable? I just had to stay silent. Everyone watching is probably just like, ah, again with those jokes? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Inside the Inverted Pyramid. That sounds like some, uh, some, like, black metal album title. <laughs> Whoa! What a creative Mario game. That's what they I'm got saying. Really dog. weird with it. Like this one is weird. You're inside of an inverted pyramid. Oh, you'll see. It gets weirder, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> is that legitimate? There's a little bit of panic. Oh shit! My friend Connor and I, we made a we made a game in Game Maker that took us like two months, where you played as a little white stick man, and uh, it was just black and white, and you had to get through these. Uh, levels by pressing the shift key which would flip the gravity and then you'd basically you know it was like this yeah and just like the game uh v v v v v v v v v v however many v's it is same thing uh they did a much better job much more creative that's a very cool game and everyone should go check it out i think it's it's five or six v's the title was like literally just five or six v's but why i don't know it's good though good game by game Grumps. Does it bother you that I didn't get all the coins in my my little jumps? Yes. 
I'm, I'm, I'll, 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 I'll get them for you. Uh, can you do anything with coins in this game? Yeah, can you, you buy, buy things shit. for the Odyssey. Yeah, like stickers and shit. Ooh. And you can buy like costumes. I'm just gonna say it now, Ryan. They stole this idea from the hit 2005 Wii game Tamagotchi Party on. Uh oh. Where you were running for president, and you could customize your campaign headquarters. Okay, I'm just gonna say it, dude. I enjoyed that game. That game was fun to me. But despite the fact it got like a two and a half out of ten. Wait, really? I like that game, yeah. <laughs> dude, we should play it. I I'm down if you are. I'm, of course I'm down. I mean, if I you want to play it, that's fine. Yeah. It was, it, okay, it's a really, it's a really like, it's a kid's game, okay? It's a kid's game. But I had it and it was fun. I enjoyed it. It had, it had f fun replayability value. Or maybe that's just me remembering it as a kid. And nowadays, if I looked at it, I'd say this has zero replayability value. But I was always a massive uh, fan of Tamagotchi stuff. I was huge into Tamagotchis when I was a kid. I had like eight. Eight? I had like eight Tamagotchis. Really? I had like one, and I was obsessed with it though. Which one did you have? What was it like? What was the shape? Did it have it was a little an antenna? Egg. I don't know. Was it just an egg, or did it have? It was an just antenna? an egg, and it had a keychain. No, it didn't have a keychain on it. I think you could put one on yeah. it if you wanted. Dude. I am, I, one of the most things I'm nostalgic for ever. Are these rabbits? These, these, these rabbits right here. It's the raving rabbits. <laughs> Tamagotchis. I love Tamagotchis. You should get yourself one. Well, they don't make them. Well, I don't know if they make them anymore, and if they do, they're wildly different now. Look it, look it up real quick. They still make Tamagotchis? Look, yeah. I think they're like in color and shit now. I don't know, that. I like that, but that kind of takes away some of the charm. The charm was that it was just such a low quality little virtual pet. It was like a 64 by 64 pixel screen. Let me see. Tamagotchi 2017. I remember they made an, uh, they made an anime Tamagotchi movie. Okay. How do you make an anime Tamagotchi movie? It was in Japan. Uh, I didn't watch it, but I remember seeing the trailer. They're normally $45.99, and they're on clearance for $5.99 on a website called Rama Deals. Hurry up, guys. Go go get your Tamagotchis. They might, they might be knockoffs. I can't tell. Okay, I might have to go buy a Tamagotchi today. Who knows? I have a Japanese one, but it always dies. Because I, I tried, like, earlier this year, rebooting an old Tamagotchi I had. Uh, I'm like, I'm going to get back into this. But I, I realized, like, as an adult, I just, I don't have the attention span or the time to, like, um, take care of it. Ta but you take care of a cat. I think you can take care of a Tamagotchi. Well, the thing is, I keep forgetting I have a Tamagotchi, so I'll, I'll like I'll play it <laughs> because it's not a real thing, of course. And also, I feel like uh, I feel like it's I a look fad, like an, not a pet. And I look like an idiot, uh, like pulling it out of my pocket at work. I just feel like I just look dumb. Would you judge me, Ryan, for pulling out my Tamagotchi and taking care of it and giving mm -hmm. it some some food and cleaning up its shit? No, no, no. You have a you have a bit of a look on your face, like. That's like a kind of. No, a I, I wouldn't judge you, honestly. I mean, I, I just. Yeah. I don't know. Well, see, you sound hesitant. You sound like you're, you're. There's something you want to say, but you don't want to hurt my feelings. I'm in, I'm in awe of these three moons that we just got. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Because that's a lot of moons. All right. 